to have that copper plating. I bet you that whole scroll's copper plated. But anyways, this is a ZR40 K3. Um, it's a 2008, especially an R22 slash 407C scroll. And right here, I have a ZP, which is a 410A scroll, uh, 42,000 BTUs. So I just want to compare the sizes between the R22 and the 410A. Put them right next to each other and see the difference. So. Get this one opened and we'll see the size difference all right this is a zr40 it's a r22 407c compressor this is a zp42 this is 40,000 btus this one's rated at 42,000 btus when you look at them they look like they're the same size right physical dimensions but when you look closer this is kind of a crude way of showing this but what size is this 932 930 seconds so this fits inside the pocket this is a 40,000 BTU 42,000 BTU 410 a compressor this does not fit inside the pocket. It's a smaller pocket. It's got a little bit of room. At first when I opened them, I'm like, man, they look the same. But when I took a closer look, I could definitely see that the volume inside these pockets are a lot bigger when you do the math versus this one and this one's actually a higher capacity than this one so that's the difference it won't fit inside so that's the difference between the 410a and r22 close to the same capacity this is a little bit larger or more capacity it's got a lot of copper plating on there actually it wore out the bearing it's got a lot of play in it but this is where the compressor grounded out See that wire right there? Came off that bundle. It's touching right underneath the suction inlet. Okay. Right there. It's on, actually down on the bottom. So that's why it was. That's when something gets grounded. The wires will actually touch the surface of the compressor Let's see. look at that it's gold plated it spins but there's a lot of play in this bearing 